I'm Andrew Saw. Welcome to Billboard. Later tonight, arts news and what the critics say. First, though, problems in Australian drama. Television. And Jan Adele is soon to appear in a new film called High Tide with Judy Davis. But for at least three months of the year, these two are on the road maintaining a tradition they really love. The tradition of old-time vaudeville. Sheridan Jobbins reports. Would you welcome on stage the telephone lady herself, Miss Jan Adele? Jan Adele, as introduced by her co-star, Lucky Grills. And this is how it goes most of the night. One on stage, laughing or singing, while the other is off stage, changing into glad rags or gag rags. With the two only meeting occasionally for a skit or a song. We are making mistakes, but we're getting the breaks in the good old battle. They come from a tradition of tent shows, travelling troops and vaudeville. A tradition which dates back to the 1890s but which had its demise in the 1940s, first because of radio and then because of television. Lucky and Jan's act is three hours long and is crammed with heaps of routines which, frankly, are old-fashioned, sometimes racist and sometimes sexist. <laughs> That's enough to ruin your evening, eh, ladies? <laughs> it's the story of my life. But the material does conform to the traditions of vaudeville. And, more importantly, it keeps their audiences laughing. She was so ugly, if you look up the word ugly in the dictionary, there's a photograph of it. Everything's old fashioned. I mean, there's not any one of those jokes that we have done tonight that probably haven't been around for the last hundred years. But, but there are so many different versions of the same joke. I've got one of the biggest libraries of comedy sketches in Australia. And every time we do a sketch now, you look back on an old sketch, it's got to be rewritten and modernised. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take you to Maclay Street, King's Cross, Sydney. And away we go. Another of the great vaudeville traditions which Jan and Lucky maintain is the quick change. This entire turnaround is less than three minutes. Most of the time they make their living separately, playing the lucrative club circuit in Sydney. But for three months of the year they take a joint act onto the road to capitalise on years of television performing. It was windy. <laughs> I don't know where the wind was coming from, but I certainly know where it was going. <laughs> characters, characters. I met a bloke from the army, all dirt out up in his uniform. He said, how much would you charge me for the pleasure of my company? I said, ah, oh, $30. He said, oh, good. Company, quick match! <laughs> Jesus, blokes are mongrels, aren't they? <laughs> Filthy fleas, hard, strikey <laughs> Hello, love. How you going? Oh, not bad, darling. <laughs> you been getting any lately, have you? I've had me ups and downs. Oh. Tonight they've played at St Paul's, which is probably the most prestigious cabaret venue in Adelaide. And on this particular tour, tonight's also been pretty extraordinary because, you see, these two old-time troopers are actually touring for the sparse country audiences. Over the next 16 days, Jan, Lucky and their road manager, John Bed will play in 16 different venues. They'll travel just under 5,000 kilometres, perform for more than 3,000 people, use 800 millilitres of hairspray, and consume an endless stream of hamburgers, sandwiches, fish, pies and chips. During this trip, Jan has a pinched nerve, which is restricting her breathing and making the car travel agonising, while Lucky has to conserve his energy and watch his diet after 12 months of diabetes. This sort of life would tax somebody in their early 20s, but here they are still going into their late 50s. Why? I just do it for luxuries like bread and butter and milk <laughs> and all those things. Uh, I, I enjoy my work now and uh, it's gratifying to see the appreciation that's shown by the people in the country because they, they like to uh, come up and say hello to you and they've seen you on television.
Now, this is the more usual place for Jan and Lucky to play. It's Port Broughton, 240 kilometres north of Adelaide. It's a sleepy community with a population of some 1,200 people, 200 of whom are expected to turn up tonight. Apart from driving and keeping things running smoothly, it's John's job to set up stage whenever Jan and Lucky get to a new town. He has to make the best use of whatever he can lay his hands on. In a lot of venues, we've got to not only make the dressing room, we've got to make the stage. Uh, but most venues are pretty good. They help us and uh, you're using we improvise. The, you're using the bedspread here. Is this, a, is this a common term? This is quite common in motels and hotels where you, you're looking for some particular material as a backdrop. So just ask the motel owner, can you have the bedspread? And we have the bedspread and away we go. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's right. The pub isn't the only thing that needs to be transformed, as Jan spends an hour and a half changing from an Australian grandmother to a tough professional. Sometimes they go on just so easy, like that, <laughs> and other times you'll have a real bitch of a night and it'll take you ten tries and the bloody things will stick and you'll get glue in your eye and your eyes stick together and you've got to rip it off and start it again. Do I get lonely? Yes, I guess I do. I never get bored, though. I'm never bored. It's one of the things I do love about my profession. Never. Never in a million years. <laughs> it's nice to be able to have the power to transform yourself. I mean, a lot of women don't know how to make the best of what they've got. Oh, hello. Had it. <coughs> Break open the new Break one. Break open a new one, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <coughs> Nobody cares as much about me as I do, so I hustle for myself. And you do have to hustle, there's no doubt about it. You can't sit and wait for the phone to ring forever. Oh, yeah? Jan Adele. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's me. Where would I be without you, Janice? Lord only knows where I'd be. I know, I know. Look at my life. Three hours later. Oh, another no town, tragedy. another night and another show well, comes to a close in front of another bedspread in front of another satisfied audience. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know money can't buy friendship cause it's so hard to replace. Well, tell me where we're You get good nights, you get bad nights, but you know, you really thrive on the fact that if you get an audience like what you had tonight, that you go home happy thinking, well, we've brought a lot of happiness to the people. And I mean, that might sound a bit corny, but it's, it's that magic out there that starts the adrenaline in your body moving, you know. But I wouldn't do anything else. No, me Not even vaguely interested in <laughs> Where would you be? Where would you be? Where would you be? Ha 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 ha! Where would I be? Now this week's roundup of what 